Hi everyone, welcome back to our Software Ideas Modeler channel. Today we're going to dive into UML component diagrams by designing a simple smart home automation system. Component diagrams allow us to visualize our system at a high level, focusing on modules and their interfaces. First, switch to the Project tab in the ribbon, then click on the Add New Diagram button. In the New Diagram dialog, select the UML group and choose Component Diagram. Let's name it Smart Home Automation. Click OK to create the diagram. We'll start by creating a container for the entire subsystem. Select the Component tool from the toolbox and draw a large rectangle in the diagram editor. Name it Smart Home Automation System. To mark it as a subsystem, right-click on the component to open the context menu, select Stereotype, and then choose Subsystem. We can also uncheck the component stereotype. Now, let's add the components that represent modules within the smart system. Drag the component tool from the toolbox over the system component in the diagram editor. Name this component Mobile App. Repeat this process to add two more components, naming them Device Management and Automation Engine. It's time to define interfaces. First, we'll define the interface for the whole system. Select the main component and click the Add Port button in the context bar. You can leave the name blank. Next, click the Add Interface button in the Port context bar to add a provided interface and name it User Control. Create the same provided interface for the mobile app component. Select the mobile app component and click the Add Interface button in the context bar, naming it User Control. Now, select the required interface tool from the toolbox and drag from the port element to the provided interface of the mobile app component. Next, we add more interfaces. Select the mobile app component and click the Add Required Interface button. Name it Device Control. Then, add two provided interfaces to device management, naming them Device Control and Device Monitoring. Use the required interface tool to connect the automation engine with both provided interfaces. To improve the look and feel, select both required interface connectors, right-click, choose Line Style, and select Rectangular. This will make the diagram cleaner. There's another way to connect provided and required interfaces, using the Dependency tool. Select the Dependency tool from the toolbox and use it to connect the required interface of the mobile app component with the device control provided interface of the device management component. And that's it. Our simple component diagram for a smart home automation system is complete. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials. See you next time.